what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel always occupied home and product reviews and in this review i want to get back to y'all on the uh, questions and answers as far as the studless tv wall mount right um i did forget to you know do like how to take it off but i didn't really see too many questions on that until recently so unfortunately i'm not gonna you know go back and try to redo the whole video again so i'm just going to show y'all on this video on how to take it off uh that's the main question that i think probably didn't get answered out of my uh q a i call it uh gbttc get back to the community um that's my little series that i got going on but really it's just a question and answer thing but i like saying giving back to the community because y'all are my community and i like giving back to y'all if y'all have questions to ask and i'm here to answer them so with that being said how to take this uh studless uh mount off now give me a second all right you guys so we have hammers here okay i know this is a dinosaur hammer actually both of them are dinosaurs but um yeah this this hammer is just insanely big right but anyways like i told y'all my family was in construction my uncle had a construction company and my father was in construction i used to work in construction with them so yeah that's how i got a little bit of trading right now what you will need is a hammer to get this mount off all right now if you don't know how to get the mount off i'm just going to tell you it's reverse psychology okay the way you put on it's the way you take off that ain't reverse psychology is it okay so reverse how you installed it so you put it on so just imagine me taking the tv off okay now when it comes to hammers you have different type of hammers you have some that i call them the crow toe or bird toe or whatever you call it i'll leave that to the hammer enthusiasts out there but the back part of the hammer right you see how one is a little bit more curved so this one is a little bit more curved than this one right this one is more straight you want to get yourself a straight hammer or get a crowbar um if you have a i have crowbars but they're somewhere i don't, I don't feel like getting it okay so get yourself a crowbar um maybe a little bit easier they're more flat and you can you know get behind you have to be gentle you guys you have to be gentle if you're not gentle you will put a hole in your wall okay besides the mil million little nail holes that comes out of your wall but let's go ahead and get right into it now a good trick will be trying to get on the bottom of here if you can get on the bottom and pull up and get another hammer like this if you can get on the bottom like that you can pull it out all right and like i said be gentle because i have the hammer on my drywall let me back all up a little bit all right you guys sorry about that i had y'all too far now once again if you can get underneath underneath will be perfect and then try to gently gentle and you could go right behind the nails as you go up because they give you enough space to go behind the nails now if you are rough you go here and you do it real hard if you do this real hard you can put a hole in your wall right there okay go behind and take it off and that's about it and then you will see the 19 to 20 holes that you will have to patch up or put a picture behind it all right you guys so that is it with the uh removal of this studless tv mount and i hope this helped you out so once again i'm giving back to the community if i see questions if i still have products you guys um a lot of times <laughs> I probably got rid of the product I gave it away as a present or you know resold it whatever the case may be um, if I still have the product around 
I will go ahead and try to do a Q&A on it as a video format. I think it's easier to do a Q&A as a video format rather than texting y'all in the comment on how to do something. It's, you know, it's kind of hard to read text or kind of hard, hard to tell somebody feelings on a text. You know what I mean? So uh, if you see somebody's emotion while you're talking, then, you know, it's, it's kind of better than the text. You can't really text your emotion and that's blah 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 stuff once again i like doing video format questions and answers so that's what i will be uh doing for a little while you know if the product is around if it's accessible and stuff like that so other than that like comment share subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next q a